Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM. We're bringing you some of Hollywood's toughest my way or the highway guys today. We just showed Robert Mitchum as a fast-driving Tennessee moonshiner. We're going to head out west next with the definitive Hollywood cowboy. Of course, that's John Wayne. If you're unfamiliar with the kind of character John Wayne typically played, the title of this film should provide some definition. From 1971, it's Big Jake. Wayne plays Big Jake, an aging cattleman and well-known gunfighter. He's been estranged from his family for years, but when a gang of outlaws attacks the family's ranch and kidnaps Jake's grandson, Jake rides in to find the kid and settle the score with the men foolish enough to think they could cross John Wayne, or I mean Big Jake. You know, the truth is it's hard to separate Wayne from the heroes and anti-heroes he played on the big screen. Not at all to diminish his acting talents, which are usually underappreciated, but Wayne often did play a version of himself, or at least the image Americans had of him. Like his characters, the Duke was a man who valued family and friends, and as executive producer of this film, he made sure plenty of both were on hand. The cast includes Bruce Cabot, John Agar, and Harry Carey Jr., all old friends and drinking buddies of Wayne, as well as his frequent co-star and friend Maureen O'Hara. As for family, Wayne hired his son Michael to produce the movie, and then he cast his son Patrick to play his son in the movie, and another son, Ethan, to play his kidnapped grandson. An added bit of trivia for you, Wayne's son Ethan is named for one of his dad's most famous characters, Ethan Edwards, in The Searchers. Here's a movie that was truly a family affair for the Waynes. It's from 1971, Big Jake. <laughs> 